Houston before, coming from all parts of the country. And when the hurricane hit, they immediately pitched in to help their new hometown. Winston with the quick throws with which they reside. But this is on a whole nother level. When, when you come together as a community through tragedy, through disaster like this, uh, a lot of perspective gained from some of these young guys, especially ones who hadn't even gone to class yet. And they're already chipping in to help this community. Bonds on the drive with a shot clock winding down. And Brack plays to cover in college basketball. Maybe the second toughest. I think flare screens are really hard. Flare screen, read screen situations in college are tough to cover. But the transition ball screen, you got to be set. You got to be in position. It's not an easy cover. This was an NAIA team. As the shot clock winds down and Dubose's jumper a little bit strong, rebounding dashes to attract talent. To get guys to play, I mean, especially when you look at the importance of trans. It's the right call, but it doesn't make it any easier to stomach Ooh. if it's against you. As Bonds has that one knocked away, Jackson able to chase it down. Winston up ahead to Schilling. Schilling, the leaner falls. And I think that's been a little bit of a challenge. You're still young, so you gotta. You gotta... It's almost hurt. better when they don't. Right, exactly. <laughs> Oblivious to everything. Carraher with 10 on the shot clock. Obviously a big target of Michigan State's defensive efforts. Carraher trying to work against Jackson. That's a tough matchup. Hart inside with the offensive rebound and the putback. Crispin gets five extra points per <laughs> shot. Winston, the lob to Schilling. And Schilling with the flush. Nobody's shoving him there. Hurricane when he got there. The Nassau in the Bahamas by way of Concord, North Carolina. The ball off the rim, tipped around. Schilling battling for it and out of bounds. It'll go to Michigan State. David Carroll. Wins the jump over to Winston. Winston drives underneath. Schilling has it rejected by DuBose. Schilling on his way to the free throw line. One more to come. The program and sustaining the program over time. See so many high-level programs. That's why they're so sustainably good. Yeah, pretty stable situation here. I mean, in this, East is, Lansing. this is usually where I say something stupid, like every coaching contract should be for 20 years. Like, <laughs> <and it's, laughs> right away, but if you're about doing it the right way, about investing in the kids, making them better, not just in what they're doing on the floor, but off the court as well. Bridges with the step back too. Oh my goodness! Is Stop! It's going to come from him first. Well, this first half is going to make Tom Izzo happy from his standpoint. Because one of the things he said today is we got to get him going. He's 100% healthy now. We've got to get him going offensively. Well, that's happened to this first half. Bonds to the other end. And Braxton Bonds elevating. Are just, it's just a regular occurrence. All the time. It feels like more. I don't have any statistics I've, to back it, it up. Just, but. It really does seem like at, at some point you've got to figure it out. At some point you've got to figure out how the, those are the shots you want to seek out for. Those are easy, high-percentage shots that he's just going to be able to elevate. I'd like to see him use that right hand as he just did. Carraher in the corner. His three not going to go. Rebound tracked down by Bonds. Another offensive board for HBU. And Bonds going baseline with a reverse won't go. Another offensive rebound and another. And he's doing it now. It's going to be long. Long season for Big Ten opponents. Carraher unable to connect on that one as he got to the rim. Dubose off another offensive rebound. Gets into the rim. Gets the bucket. I give Michael Hall a lot of credit, man. That's a crazy amount of prep for that show. You're studying guys who have not been emotional therapy, I think is what they call it. Yep. For who? Me? <laughs> That's after you work with me. Okay. Daniels with 13 to shoot around the screen from Carraher. Underneath the lob taken away. Schilling able to pick up the loose ball. And Nair will push. Tum Tum Nair, the kick into the corner. McQuaid, wide open three. Schilling pokes the rebound in the air. Bridges tipping. DuBose showing something. And Jackson coming back to get the rejection. What a play by Jackson. Schilling on the other end is foul. Six games already. Really smart tops between the trucks to, to make passes and make big plays. Oh, Schilling flying in to get the rebound, and then a foul is there. Has <laughs> been coaching. I'm, I'm doing all right. Gates, the deep three. Jackson, the rebound. Another foul. Teams right Not to be a stickler, you're still going to find things that you can improve upon. And you really will. I, mean, I think the efforts there, the energy's there, but there's certain things that tell.
looking for a big win. You're, you're looking for absolute dominance. The fact that HBU is shooting 31% from the floor, a lot of missed opportunities, and Michigan State's at 65%. Right now. It's, it's also something that Tom Izzo talked about. You know, we, we've got to play the game, not the jersey, you know, the game of the jersey. And there's truth in that, but there's also truth in the fact that it's impossible as a kid not to get up for Duke, not to get up for Purdue or Indiana and possibly not have the same sense of urgency against HBU. It's impossible. It's, it's human. It's part of the challenge of being a coach. He goes with one to shoot. The three not going to go. Offensive rebound, McKenzie. To the point we were just making, McKenzie with the offensive rebound. I just think that was a tough time to play against that Duke team. But they threw a zone at you. For, for 40 minutes, it was zone. And it's a Michigan State team that hadn't yet figured out how to share the basketball play against the zone. So they still scored. Saturday against Oakland. I tell you, they, they still score, but it's it's a different team today. We'll look at no basket. It'll be determining. It'll be determining factor of whether you can actually do what you need to do. Keep the round and controlled by HBU, looking to get to the rim. Osuji can't get that one to fall, and the rebound for McQuay. It's funny how sick these fans are. They just want to see a hundred points. What are they giving out free tacos? McQuaid delivers. First time over the century mark since the home opener against for HBU. Three won't go for Lynch Daniels. Rebound Schilling. Final 45 seconds of this one. All Michigan State tonight. George enters it to Tillman. Tillman with the hook, not going to go. McQuaid with the loose ball. Nairn going to hang on. Here's George on the penetration with the left hand. No, but a tip jam is there from Xavier Tillman. And a foul on Schilling with 18 seconds to go. Inbound. McQuaid has come in along with Schilling. Here's Schilling inside. McQuaid is the sharpshooter for Michigan State. Tum Tum Naren also in with the ball right now. Bridges. So now Bridges has to sit down. Inside Northwestern trying the power game. Not a very good shot. Communication is imperative. Michigan State, three for nine to start this game. Schilling tries to turn. Cut off nicely by Barrick Benson. Up top, Lankford way short. The zone is intended to do is to keep the ball in front, level off angles to the basket. Scotty Lindsay running around screens. Law, he's been hot. Loose ball, rebounded in the corner. New shot clock, Gaines got it. Law again, and he rattled it in. Four to shoot. Naren drives to the basket. Lost it. Can't get it to fall in the baseline. Scotty Lindsay the other way. Pulls up and knocks it in.